What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I know I've been MIA for the last couple weeks. Um, I wanted to pay respects to George Floyd and to also stay really engaged and to protest. Um, I felt like it was very important and if you've seen my last two videos then you know what I've been up to. So yeah, I am back. I have two amazing videos for you. The first one today is going to be how to make your Instagram pictures look amazing and how to take them yourself. So I'm going to take you on location with me and show you exactly how I do it. And then the next video is going to be probably early next week and it's going to be top secret. So if you haven't hit that notification bell, hit that notification bell and subscribe because you don't want to miss that video. So thank you so much for sticking with me. I'm super excited to continue this YouTube journey and Let's get started. Okay, so we made it. We are on the rooftop. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna get started. Um, yeah, it's kind of tiring when you do stuff yourself. <laughs> no, you're doing your makeup, your hair, the photo shoot, you're carrying up like the tripods up seven flights of stairs, but it's gonna be so worth it. Look at this view. So the first thing I like to do when I'm planning my photo shoot is to pick the wardrobe. So I wanted to pick an outfit that was really inspired by uh, the 90s looks that Aaliyah brought and it was really fun, hip hop, tomboy, sexy and so she's on a rooftop. I thought why not, I'm in LA. So that's what I did and I think it's turning out really, really great. Um, so yeah, wardrobe is always the first thing that I kind of start with to figure out what type of location, what look I'm going to go for, what vibe. We are on the rooftop. Alright, so we have our wardrobe, so now we need our location. So like I said, wardrobes sometimes will help you decide your location. I recommend going on a site like Peerspace if you want to find something super cool. You can also shoot a great great looking photo shoot at your house so don't feel like you have to go out and find some extravagant place but it's always fun if you can. Okay so it's so awesome up here. It feels amazing like so nice not to have to wear my face mask. <laughs> um, but yeah, LA is really, really beautiful. I don't come downtown very much, but it's a really industrial, like 1920s feel. So it's definitely gonna look really great for the next look as well. So yeah, let's keep going. All right, so let's get technical for a minute. So I have a Canon camera and I purchased a remote off of Amazon. Uh, the remote comes with instructions on how to connect it to your Canon camera. Um, I'm sure with each camera and with your phone, you can definitely buy remotes that will do the same thing. Um, but I simply just get in front of my camera after I have it on photo settings and I will click and you usually have to wait like five seconds uh, and then you pose and then it's going to turn like a, a red light on to let you know that it's taking the picture and you'll hear a little click. I'll usually do a lot of different poses once I have my setting and my look and my hair exactly how I want because then that way I'll just stay in the zone. And then after I've taken as many snaps as I want, I'll go back and check and see if I like what I've got. And so I'll just do that a ton. I probably do that way more than I'm supposed to as far as posing goes, but it's better to have more than not enough. So also don't forget to enjoy yourself while you're making art. Um, it really definitely shows in your photos that you've been having a good time. And so I changed my outfit. It has nothing to do with Aaliyah. I just really like this dress. So yeah, I, I like the pictures that I've gotten from it. Um, yeah, I like them. So one nice thing about shooting on a rooftop, you get amazing natural light. So I didn't have to use any lights. Um, however, I normally do use two to three lights. Genray is one of my favorite brands. I believe I got this Genray light off of Amazon, um, but I definitely know you can get them on eBay as well. But yeah, you just wanna make sure you're really well lit so that your pictures come out great. Okay, so the final stage before you upload your pictures is to get them retouched or just perfected. And I just wanna say that 
Don't ever feel bad about the way your pictures look raw because almost everyone that posts online usually sends their pictures through retouching, um, actors do it for headshots, models do it for their comm card. So don't feel bad if you have imperfections. A lot of times I will leave a lot of my imperfections, but if there's something that I don't wanna leave, I'll just send it through my little apps. So two of my favorite apps are Airbrush and Retouch. So Airbrush is just a really simple, natural app. Um, they just have a lot of cool, simple ways of making your pictures look really natural, but just popping a little bit of color in it. And then Retouch is an actual app where you send it to um, retouchers um, and they will actually do it for you, but except they're not gonna charge like 20 or $30 per picture. It's usually like only if you have like a few things here and there you wanna change and it's usually a dollar uh, yeah, usually a dollar or a little less than a dollar per like thing that you want to change on your picture. So really affordable and it's a way to just perfect your pictures before you put them out into the world. Not saying you have to do this. Um, it's only if you want to and don't overdo it. You don't want to look fake. You want to look supernatural. So, you know, if you have a scar that you want to cover up or, you know, you want your your colors to pop a little bit more. That's what I would recommend using it for. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know that because I don't want you to think like, oh, my pictures aren't like popping the way everyone else's is. It's most likely because they're using an app. And that's it. I upload them to Instagram and they're out in the world. And like I always say, the most important thing is to have fun with it. I'll see you guys next week.